of like go through the motions, they just have like a set routine. It's just like they get up in the morning, they go to class, they come home, they eat, they go to sleep and just have like this routine going, like they don't break away from it. Who walks around um, with their eyes probably open, but they probably are asleep. I guess a dead human being that came back to life. Something that's dead and that's walking, that eats brains. A zombie, it's somebody that was dead and came back to life for to seek revenge or something. Like someone that's dead. Zombie is the undead. They want brains to kill you. I guess a zombie is like someone who's been raised from the dead or something. It's kind of some uh, spiritual, uh, uh, spiritual existence. Uh, dead, uh, the dead uh, in physicality, but still uh, have some uh, consciousness. And they do things, they just like follow the crowd and they don't like think for themselves. I can only go by what I've seen on television. It's somebody that's been infected with some virus and they're, they're dead in a sense, but they're not really dead. And... Zombies are people without that fundamental thing that makes them people. And a zombie's sole purpose is to feed. And in doing so, they make more zombies. So maybe a zombie is a person who doesn't care anymore, and they're not caring spreads not caring, right? And so you get you you wind up in this state of people fighting for what makes them fundamentally human. say that uh, most of the human race unfortunately qualifies for the zombie contingent currently so humans vs zombies is essentially a giant game of tag that's played all day for one week on campus here all players start out as humans except for five or six select players which we have as the original zombies and those original zombies will try to two-hand tag the human players. When a human player is tagged, they become a zombie. And so the, the zombie horde builds and builds as the week progresses, as more and more people are tagged. And, uh, and that is the basic function of the game. I think the thing that fascinates me most about humans versus zombies is when I saw it, it seemed to me to be a real reaction against zombification, uh, especially at college universities. Look at how many students walk around campus like a zombie, maybe with the cell phone up to the ear. Um, and, and I think Humans vs. Zombies was partially that. It's also about zombie culture, right? People love zombies. But it was about making the college campus more playful and getting people engaged with one another, again, in a way that I think uh, had kind of disappeared for a little bit. We've started seeing a huge gap in people's verbal communication skills. Uh, you, know, you know, among college students, you know, young officers that we hire. Every, you know, I go to all the police chiefs conferences. You go to any managers meeting. Every time, everybody's talking about this new generation of employee, how smart they are, how great they are taking tests. You know, and the two main things that we talk about where they're lacking is verbal communication, the confidence to interact with people. Uh, verbal communication is more than just talking. It's having that confidence to go up to someone you never met before and interact. I think if you looked at who actually plays humans versus zombies, that there's a wide variety of people. Um, I don't think it's just gamers or zombie people, or I, I think there'd be a lot of normal people that are playing it because it's a chance to experience the day to day in a a very new way. I would consider playing. Possibly. I'd consider playing. Yeah, I'd love to play uh, Humans vs. Zombies. Uh, perhaps. I don't know. I, I've just never uh, never really been asked about it before. I mean, it actually does kind of sound fun, but I honestly just don't really have time <laughs> to be like worried about someone coming and trying to like kill me or whatever. <laughs> I think it's very funny, but... If I'm playing the role of zombie, I'm not sure I really like it. What's really interesting about it to me is not that it's guys out running around with Nerf guns, but that it's bringing play back into 
spaces that I think probably used to be more playful and people used to be authorized to play. Um, it was okay to run around and be crazy. Right? When I was a college, uh, a college student and we did run around and do crazy stuff and I think for a while I didn't see students out still being kids, right? Having fun. And Humans vs. Zombies, because of that artificiality, makes it more okay. And when people look at it and say, oh, well, that's just for weird kids or the zombie crowd, I think they're dismissing uh, a group of people that are really trying to make play more okay in a society that has become very unplayful. You know, college is a, is a great time in everybody's life, and you got to remember it. You're here to get a great education, number one. Number two is to have fun and, and make lifelong friends. My objective for, you know, a message that we might send to players is get out, have fun, and and that's that's all there is to it. This is an opportunity for you to take a break from classes, you know, maybe not think about chemistry for a couple of hours and go out and be active and have fun and meet people. And that's that's what the whole game is there for. It's definitely a, a big thing to see, you know, people people interacting because that's a huge portion of the game is just interactions. It's really easy to meet new people playing this game. You're walking down the street, you're crossing over uh, Sanford Bridge, you see somebody else with a Nerf Blaster, something tells me you're gonna be able to go and talk to that person for a couple minutes. I only started hanging out with these guys recently, but I, I would just randomly find people like, hey you, you have a gun, let's hang out until we end up going off to class because there are 10 zombies outside snowing. It brings a lot of people out, outdoors, being active <laughs> in groups they're not used to. And it usually brings together a bunch of like-minded people that would all enjoy something like this. Romantic-wise, we have two couples in our staff that, that met, I'm pretty sure met during the game or at some point after the game. And I mean, it's great common interest. I mean, there's another girl chasing you as a zombie. It's like, there, there's a connection there, <laughs> you know? She's also into this sort of thing, so. The first time, I guess, was when uh, he tagged me the first game ever. Stalked her after a class, we had a class together, and stalked her all throughout Tate, wait till she got outside and sprung on her and tagged her. She didn't even have a kill code because she wasn't officially registered. Lame. Honestly, our relationship is completely interwoven with the game, and I, I don't really have an answer for how it's affected us because I can't imagine us having a relationship without the game. <laughs> it really uh, just promotes camaraderie, like grouping up with people and facing tasks. I mean, one thing leads to another, you start talking about other stuff, you realize you have a lot in common, and it just, it opens up conversation with other people that you would otherwise just pass on by and go to your class. I definitely think that Humans vs. Zombies is encouraging people to reclaim social, uh, real social space, right? Real play space. Um, because people connect all the time on Facebook and on their cell phones and they're texting, and, and that's very real interaction, but it's different from being out with your friends, moving around, interacting with, coordinating. Um, when you look at Humans vs. Zombies, it asks us to be social in a very physical way, again, in, at a time when we've kind of lost that a little bit. You spend your entire semester focusing on schoolwork and you, you probably have other things going on, but if the entire campus could play and get together and just have a week of, of just some fun, even if you just played a little bit, um, I think that you know people could definitely stop focusing on school or stop focusing on you know work or whatever stress is going on in their life and you know kind of take a step back and be like you know what what am I doing at, at college am I really just learning about about chemistry and biology and and you know finance all day all the time and then maybe doing some extracurriculars that'll hopefully get me a job in the future or you know am I here to have fun and meet people and and that's what we, we try and bring in and you know if people want to write that off and just go on their day living and focusing on other things then, then that's fine but you know if people want to come in and play and just have some fun for a while and take their mind off of, of school and everything you know that's that's what we look for and you know that's what people have fun doing is just being able to take a break and go meet some new people at random because you're being chased by a horde of zombies. <laughs> and, 